Hi, this is Aaron with Zolotech. Today we have a MacBook case from Pinder Bags. Uh, it's not open yet. I just hit, took this out of the box and uh, it's in the plastic as you can see with uh, some of these little gel moisture absorbents. Let me uh, go ahead and open it and see what we have here. And uh, thank you for sending this. Appreciate it. And uh, let's see what we have. So there's SKU number and it's a bag within a bag is what it looks like. Let's go ahead and uh, open this up. Okay, so this is inside here, and uh, it makes it a little bit difficult to open, but it's the Thin Laptops Carrier Sleeve Hybrid, or a hybrid. It's a ballistic nylon exterior and trim made from seat belts. Our thin laptop carrier will keep your laptop real happy. It even has some little pockets for your cords, power supply, and a small mouse. You can use the thin on its own with a shoulder strap or handles and can be neatly tucked away, and the thin can be placed inside your favorite bag, backpack, or tote. Uh, that's pretty cool. So uh, let's go ahead and just snap that and uh, open the bag up here if we can. It's a little bit tricky. Oh, I see. It's tied a little bit. And there we go. So what's this say? The toughest bag in the universe. Okay, our philosophy. Pinder is a company that believes in the importance of being socially responsible and growing the business. Because of that, we're, we're committed to donating 5% of our net proceeds from each bag to charities specified on our website. That's pretty cool that they're actually giving back uh, as they grow larger and larger. So here's the bag itself. So it's a bag within a bag, which is uh, interesting. It says pinderbags.com. And uh, let's take a look at what we have here. So here's the bag itself. Uh, you can see it's got a thin nylon zipper on the front. Let's see what we've got back here. And this is pretty thin. You can see. Uh, in the back here we have a room for, looks like maybe a power adapter, whatever you want, when it's Velcro here. And this is pretty tough material. They weren't kidding. It's, it's pretty thick nylon. And this does feel just like seatbelt material. And it looks like we have a similar uh, area on this side as well. So it, there's plenty of room. And then there's little uh, ring snaps. Let's go ahead and open the top here and see what the inside looks like. So inside, uh, it's got your typical nylon and it looks like we've got a, a shoulder strap in here with some pretty heavy duty clasps on them, which is always nice. You can see that's, that's uh, pretty serious on both ends. And uh, again, seat belt material with a let me turn that around. With uh, looks like a Velcro, Velcro removable pad. Yep, it's a pad, and it just simply Velcros on and off. If you don't want it, you don't have to have it. We'll set that over here. And the bag itself has their label inside it, and significant padding in here. Uh, this is pretty thick. I want to say maybe quarter inch padding. And the only place, no, it has it on the bottom too. I, I, it didn't feel like it did at first, but down here is padded. The stitching is all very clean. I don't see any loose, loose uh, pieces of, you know, uncut fibers or anything like that. The zippers look pretty heavy duty. They all have these nice little rings on them, half ring or half circle rings. And in here, looks like we've got a little space to put the MacBook. Now I do have my 13 inch MacBook handy just to try this out. It does have the protective cover on it from uh, a review a while ago. But let's go ahead and slide this in here. See how the fit is. So it has these, that's pretty nice actually I like that because it keeps uh, everything padded. So this is a piece of padding that actually goes on the top here and the sides. So it's extra padding all the way around so if you did unfortunately lose your bag or even bump it into something it's well protected. Let's go ahead and zip it up and uh, 
that holds it quite nicely. It feels like a, a fairly snug fit, perfect though. Uh, it's got enough room to move around a little bit, but it feels like it's really made for uh, not too much thicker than the aluminum MacBook. I would imagine it would fit the white MacBook just as well. Uh, that's not very much thicker at all. And then you have these two straps on the top. If you don't want them, you can tuck them in there, it looks like. Oh, and one thing I think we missed here, so we have a zipper on the front, and uh, you could put looks like you could put your power adapter in there and that's really all you need with a MacBook. Uh, there's not a whole lot more but the like I said the stitching looks excellent on here it feels really heavy duty and uh, you don't have any of the I don't see any loose uncut uh, you know, cotton fibers or nylon fibers or anything like that. Looks like someone actually took the time to look over the bag before they went and uh, shipped it out, which is really nice. They they must have pay attention to their detail or pay uh, quality attention to detail on their on their products. Uh, this is the first product I've had from them, and I appreciate them sending it. Uh, it's it looks really nice. It's got their name embroidered here. I just noticed that it says Pinder. But there isn't a whole lot more to say about a bag other than to use it for a while. So I think I'm going to do that and uh, let you know my reaction over time, see how it holds up. Just because it looks tough doesn't mean it is over time. So I'll use it for a couple weeks and uh, definitely get back to you on it. And uh, especially if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to ask. Just because sometimes I don't know if I cover everything you guys want to hear. Um, there's really not a whole lot more to say about this other than that I like that they've feels well thought out. You have the clasps for your uh, shoulder strap and these can fold in there and be held with the vel Velcro in place as well as providing extra storage. So I really don't think there's much more to say about it other than let's try it out, see how well it lasts. And again, thank you for sending it. I really appreciate it. Uh, the bag itself is, is really impressive. It's well, in, well constructed. And it uh, looks like their name is on both sides. I can feel them feel it embroidered here. Yeah. So uh, that's really it for this bag. Uh, definitely check them out. Pinderbags.com. Uh, again, they're uh, giving back to the community, too, by donating each 5% uh, of each proceed to uh, a charity as listed on their website. So definitely be sure to check them out. Is that That's a, a, a something you don't really see a whole lot nowadays. So this is Aaron with Zolotech. We'll see you next time.